Guys, a miracle happened. I remembered to record this on Thursday. It's like, like when was the, was week one the last time this happened? Wait, no. One? I don't know. It, it's week five now. I might have been week two. Yeah, I don't know. This is the first time in a while. Um, This may be the first time I'm actually, hopefully at least, going to get a whole normal video done because the first time, the time I remember doing it on Thursday, I did it freaking watching a soccer game, which conveniently is where I remembered to do this. I was wa watching BYU uh, versus San Francisco soccer from last night, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I forgot to do that. So it is 5.01, and uh, yeah, so... I remembered, hopefully this is up by the time the game starts, but anyway, let's go, because I still need to finish the soccer game before a football game, and then BYU Volleyball tonight, uh, I'll see you when I watch that, and then baseball playoffs start, that's exciting, then college football, NFL, Thing, this is the busy time, this is the best time of year, anyway, I need to stop babbling, you don't want to hear me babble, you want to hear me pick, or, I mean, I get, if you clicked on the video, I, I guess that's probably what you're here for. Um, yeah. So, yeah. First game, Thursday night. Jonathan Taylor out for the Colts. Whoa, I need to check my fantasy team. I don't have Jonathan Taylor, but I don't know. I randomly remembered to do that. So, Jonathan Taylor is out. I would probably pick the Broncos anyway, but especially now that Taylor's out, I'm picking the Broncos. Giants, Packers, <laughs> uh, Packers, that's, that's like, easy, like, the Giants, I don't care that they're 3-1, and one. they're a bottom five team in the league, they have not looked good, they've just won, and Giants fans are like, oh, but they're, like, we're 3-1, and one, blah, 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 sure. Yeah, but if I'm ranking teams, I'm not going to rank them based on what their records are. That's what the standings are. If you want to see your team be, you know, 3-1, and one, then just look at, a, look at the standings. Like, don't look at power rankings. I think I had them at 30 this week when I, when I did that. So, yeah. 30. Yeah. So, I don't... Yeah, they're not good. Anyways, um, I'm going to pick the... Packers in London to beat the Giants. Bills, Steelers, Bills, because the Steelers suck. And as a Bengals fan, I mean, that, I, yeah, of course I hate the Steelers, but the stupid week one, that was dumb. Chargers and Browns, I'm going to pick the Chargers. Uh, again, Bengals fan. I Browns looked awful last week. Was that last week? Yeah, against the Falcons. Yeah, they looked terrible. That was one of the bad Jacoby Brissett games. And hopefully, I mean, he continues to suck until Watson gets back. And then hopefully Watson sucks worse. I don't know that there's anyone in the history of ever that I've rooted for. That I, or I guess I haven't yet rooted against him. But will root against more than Deshaun Watson. I hate him. He should not be uh, uh, playing football this year. He, it's, it's dumb. It's dumb. Anyway, but you're not here, <laughs> my opinion, on how long Sean Watson should be suspended for, which should be longer than 11 games, which is very convenient as first games against the Texans. Like, that, 11 is such a specific number that that had to have been why, right? Okay, anyway, uh, next, Jags, Texans. I think the Jags are a top 10 team. I'm going to go with the Jags. Texans are the worst team. Yes, the worst team. Behind the Bears. Speaking of the Bears, Bears, Vikings going to pick the Vikings because the Bears are second worst team. And the Vikings are good. Lions, Patriots. I'm going to pick the Lions because the Lions, I, I mean, I'm not the only one, it seems. I have the first, when I first, like, formed this opinion, I'm like, oh, I'm like one of the only people I can think of that is actually high on the Lions. And I'm like, oh, everyone seems to be. But I, yeah, maybe I'm just lower on the Patriots at this, like, is why necessarily I'm picking the Lions, even though New England's favored. So yeah, going with the Lions in Foxborough. Seattle and New Orleans. I'm going to pick the Saints. I didn't know what to do with this one. But yeah, I'm picking the Saints blindly. I don't I don't have a reason why. They're just, they're better than the Seahawks and at home. So I guess that's my reason. But I 
can't tell you a specific reason. I think they're going to win because of the, they're just, I don't have confidence in anything that they would do to win, but they're just overall better, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Dolphins, Jets. Oh, boy. Now, I cannot stand the Dolphins. I don't care that I'm looking at Dolphins stuff in front of me. I, I hate them. I cannot stand them. And especially after what they did with Tua. Like, he need, did to not play against the Bengals. And I'm not just saying that as a Bengals fan, being like, oh, I hope he doesn't play because that helps the Bengals' chances to win. No. He had a concussion pretty clearly on Sunday. I don't buy all this back injury BS. Like, no. That's dumb. It's fake. They're lying. They're like... I can't... They're like... Yeah, I can't think of a, another example of doctors being like, you know, he has this when he really has this, and it's, like, worse, but they're lying about it, so everyone doesn't freak out, and so he can still play. So, yeah, that is a problem. And then I hope to uh, get healthy, obviously, and then goes to the Dolphins and says, I don't trust you anymore, I'm out of here, and forces his way out. And then the Dolphins are left with Teddy Bridgewater, who, quite honestly, is just as good as as Tua. So, I still, this doesn't change my stance on Tua that he's overrated. I just, I hope he goes somewhere else and then proves me wrong. Um, if he still stays in Miami, I don't want him to prove me wrong. I want him to suck. But, I hope he gets healthy is the most important thing. Anyway, with all that being said, and as a BYU fan, you can see Zach Wilson like, on the Jets. I'm still going to pick the Dolphins. Mostly because that might prove my point. I mean, if Bridgewater can again it's the Jets but the more Bridgewater wins the more the offense win with Bridgewater the more I'm like yes yeah, see anyone can put up the stats that two is putting up with this offense so yeah that yeah anyway so going with the Dolphins there Bucks Falcons Bucks because the Falcons suck Tennessee Washington I'm still higher on the commanders so I'm gonna pick them uh and lower on Tennessee Carolina and San Francisco I guess I probably should have said that but anyway um, I'm gonna pick the Niners. They're good. Their defense is ridiculously good. Um, their offense right now is probably better with Jimmy G than it would be with Trey Lance, just because Trey Lance hasn't isn't as experienced. I think as the years as the year would go, would go on, if they had Lance, it'd probably be better than what they have with Garoppolo now. But as of now, in Week Five, I don't think that with Lance they would be better than they are with Jimmy. Anyway, it doesn't matter whether they would be or not. They're stuck with Jimmy right now. Um, but anyway, I think they're really good. Their defense is... I'm just realizing, I didn't use my freaking light thing. I am a moron. Why do I have the normal light? This is the light that causes weird shadows. I don't like it. Okay, see? Look. Yeah, see? That's... Now just kind of weirding me out here gonna go turn the light off and this is a little less weird it's dark okay anyway where was i uh, niners over panthers that's my pick philadelphia and arizona i haven't totally 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 bought into the eagles yet but like as like the best team in the league like some people are saying no they're not that i would not fault you though for having them top five i don't know that i would go there just yet it's been four weeks but they're trending in the right direction and I mean Arizona like I'm it, de it depends on what happens I mean again it's the whole like, thing I just went over with the Giants if you want if Eagles fans want to see themselves as the best team in the league look at the standings it's like Steelers in 2020 remember they were like 11 and 0 or something they were not the best team in the league like, yeah. So, I'm still going to pick them. But, yeah. I think they're a little overrated at the moment. I am, I would be the first to own up to it if I'm wrong about that, though. So, yeah. Eagles over Cardinals. Ram, or Cowboys, Rams. I'm going to pick the Rams because they're better than the Cowboys. Cooper Rush finally loses his first game as the Cowboys starter. Yeah. Uh, Bengals, Ravens, um, 
I don't think I need to explain why I'm picking the Bengals, even though Baltimore is favored. So, there. Good win. Our offense, are, our offense is getting back on track. Um, and hopefully our defense can hold up against Lamer. And hopefully he makes more, and Harbaugh combined to make more dumb decisions to blow, uh, well, I honestly, I would rather the Bengals just win and not have the, have to have the Ravens blow a lead, but whatever works, I guess works, so as long as Cincinnati wins, that's all I care about, and Vegas, Kansas City, I'm gonna pick Kansas City, because they're better than Vegas, yeah, so those are my picks, I, it's now 5-11, bordering on 5-12, so that gives me about an hour before the game, should be able to get it up by then. So yeah, see you guys next week, and bye.